you record? Yeah, there's your recording. The red light's on. There you go. Okay. It sounds up. So high. just first tell us which method you're doing. This is uh, mutual support groups, more or less AA, mm -hmm. that okay. model. All right. Time starts up here, and then it flows in this direction. So before you even get in the room, there's uh, you get a sense of the group culture. You see people volunteering. They're setting up the lit table. They're putting the chairs, organized the way they want them. There's an opening and welcome. There's an invitational part. And then it's a text. Uh, and even people who are doing it orally very often will speak to what's in the text, which are, in AA's case, 12-step, uh, 12, 12 traditions. In the other groups, is the Constitution. It could be bylaws. It could be uh, group rules. It could be norms. It could be all sorts of things that are written down. Uh, and then in the flat level here, part of the text is to help people know about mirroring uh, each other, sort of empathy for each other. There's a ritual to the process to go over what that's going to be. To describe the purpose. There's a story to the group, uh, how they're going to hold space together, sort of history and context. And then uh, the idea of expertise on tap in AA tradition, that's uh, mentors or sponsors, actually, it's called. Mm -hmm. And then around in the next level, people are honored. Each one can share their story. You're permitted to dwell on emotions, which is really important. Uh, the circle is respected, so everyone's equal. There's shared airtime. Things happen over and over and over again. <laughs> it's tremendous iteration and reiteration. Respected boundaries, uh, confidentiality. That's a good faith assumption that people's intentions are good and that everyone's there with the intention of improving actually their personal well-being through abstinence or reducing their use. Closing out, there's a sense of spirit. And from the spirit filling us up, it's easier to let go of old patterns and old material ways of living. Um, people change their viewpoint about themselves, about other people, about compassion for situations and things. People are witness to each other and they do it with open hearts and a sense of compassion. They leave stronger and ready to tend to their relationships, both within the group in terms of sort of a sponsor idea, but also in the several steps where you go back and make amends. And then it's always an ending ritual in a lot of traditions. It's, uh, particularly AA, it's a uh, serenity prayer. Uh, we didn't see much in evidence playfulness and uh, process for the group to harvest. People will harvest privately after the close of the formal group. They'll go off together and talk, or maybe we'll harvest with your sponsor, but not as a formal part of the group. That's my, that's my text. Cool. Okay. Hit this button stop? Yeah.